Today I'm going to party like it's Friday video time. I'm gonna party like it's Friday video time. I'm gonna party like it's Friday video time. And I know no 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 the birthday. No 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 the lyrics. I don't care. Who cares? I know the no. So why all the fuzz? Why am I more bubbly than usual or celebrating like it's my birthday? Well, it's because it's Heart Maid's birthday this month, and I couldn't think of a better way to celebrate this blogiversary than to make this video today and share it with all of you, my dear readers, my dear friends. Um, so this one's going to be a bit different than my typical appearance, appearances in that I'm actually not going to be sharing any tips or strategies. This one's even better, so stick around and you'll see what I mean. Today I want to talk about birthdays and how I have a love-hate relationship with birthdays. So on one hand, I love birthdays because there's a reason to buy helium balloons and whistles and blow candles and, and eat tons of yummy food. Um, but on the other hand, birthdays make me a bit nostalgic and a bit melancholic. I've I've guessed over the years that it has something to do with my overachieving, perfectionist personality. Maybe you know what I mean because you're also a perfectionist and an overachiever. But um, the reason why I, I came to that conclusion is because I'm very hard on myself. I tend to concentrate on the things that I haven't yet accomplished. So once I check off uh, an item on my to-do list. I'm like, I need to do the next one and I need, need to do the one following that. And and when I reach a goal, I'm like, oh, but I want more. So I, I tend to get overwhelmed with, with my own goals and my own dreams. And, and when I reach a mark as important as this one, I can't help but to recall how far, how far I have to go. So today I could sit down here on my chair and make this video about the time when I whipped out a DIY project and in my effort to get my word across about the, the work that I love to do, I submitted that same DIY project to five blogs at the same time and I thought it was okay. I could talk about the time when I used another artist's image and posted it on my blog without giving proper credit to that artist and completely, completely making a huge mistake, not realizing how serious something like that was. I could think about the time when, when I received my first negative comment on the blog and, and how awful I felt and how I cried and and I said to myself like I, I can't handle this this is this is too much um, I'm very sensitive and 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 I just thought I couldn't keep going because I I thought I, I didn't have the skin to go on I also remember the time when I said shit on national television and I couldn't sleep for a whole week because I thought I was going to get fired. Um, I could think of the time when, when I wrote, wrote a blog post that never got published because I couldn't, I couldn't make myself hit and click the publish button because I was too afraid that I wasn't coming out as an expert. I was too afraid that you weren't going to like me the way I was. So I put me off thinking that that was a smart move. And, and I could keep going on forever and ever about all the things I could talk about, all the silly mistakes, all the terrible mistakes, all, all the lessons I have learned in this journey. Um, all the moments where I can stop and tell myself, my, you're such an idiot. How could you, how could you? But instead of focusing today's attention on that, I choose to celebrate. I choose to celebrate this special occasion and I choose to celebrate it with you. Um, because most likely you're also on the same journey, on the same path that I am. Most likely you have come a long way, but maybe you're not even realizing how far you have come because you're so caught up 
with the to-do list, with the overwhelming tsunami idea gallery that you have in your brain that's the size of a tear in the Cyrus Rex. And you're so caught up with the next thing that you don't give yourself time or permission to stop and recharge like the Energizer Bunny and, and tell yourself, you know what? Screw all those mistakes. Screw all those negative comments. Screw, screw all, all that. Today, you know what? I'm going to party. And today's video, if anything, I, I want you to get across, I want you to get out of this that we all need a party. We all need a reason to party. We, all, we owe it to ourselves. If you are doing important work, if you are making a difference, if you are creating from the heart, and I hope you are, then again, you owe it to yourself, you owe it to your friends, you owe it to your family, you owe it to the cosmos, for God's sakes, to take time to be happy, to dance, to throw virtual fireworks, to do whatever it takes to party like it's your birthday. So gather that party help kit. Gather the fan emails. Gather your amazing feedback. Gather those great comments that you know made your heart sing. Gather all of those experiences and forget the nasty ones. Forget the ones that put you down. Forget that. And today, make it all about you. Make it all about you being a supernova and a star. Today is your red carpet. And let me know how that feels like. Because maybe, maybe you're going to feel so good giving yourself permission to, to have that VIP treatment for yourself that you might be tempted to take out that party, kit, party kit every single day or every time that you go on this destructive mode of thinking about the terror. Maybe the party makes you so happy, makes you so joyous, that it gives you all the momentum you need to check mark all those to-do lists, all those goals, and to take you even further. So give partying a shot, give celebrating a shot, and let me know how that goes. This was all for today. I'm actually going to go party like it's my birthday. So I'll see you next Friday for another Friday video time. Bye-bye. Okay.